Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 423. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college where it's that link, and you can download the workbook, Excel Magic Trick 423 to 430. And this trick here, we want to see how to add a column, but we want to be able to change this drop down and say, hey, I don't want all the way through May, I want to add all the way through September. Now, some function and the offset function could be used here, and probably 99.9% .9 of people do that. But I'm going to show you how to use the index function to deliver not a value, but a cell reference. Now, index and match together could look something up. So if I say, hey, index and match, look up September, I could say, look in this column, and it would deliver a 2. Let's see how that works, how the index function works the way most people uh, use it. And then we'll see how to not deliver a value, but deliver a cell reference, which will then let us use a dynamic range. The array, though, those are the values we're looking up. So I'm going to highlight this whole column of sales, comma, and then the row number. Right now, if we want to look up September, we need 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Well, I could have done that because 9 is September. So I need a row number. I'm going to use the match. The match function delivers an ordinal position. So if I say, hey, look up September comma within this lookup range right here, it zooms through, it finds that nine, September is the ninth element, and so it returns the number 9. Match type, we're looking up words, so we need to use exact, close parentheses. So match delivers the number that then index will use in the array. All right, close parentheses. Oops, and then uh, enter, right? So 2, now when I change this to uh, J July, right, it should deliver to June. All right, so that is index that delivers a value. But watch this. Copy the whole thing without that equal sign, Control C, Escape. And now I'm going to come here, equals sum. And normally what we want, we would use the offset here, and the offset would deliver that range. Notice we're always starting in B2, but we're going down a variable amount. The syntax for a range is a cell reference, colon, a cell reference. But watch this. If you control V, if you all of a sudden throw the index function into the context of a cell reference, and the context is this is a cell, Excel knows that's a cell reference, that's a colon, so it's expecting a cell reference here. As soon as you throw the index and match into the context of, not, not match, just index, because the match wouldn't do this, but the index into the context of, hey, a cell reference goes here, automatically Excel says that index should deliver a cell reference, not a value. I'm going to control enter. One, so that, that's it there. And if I change this to, say, uh, February, right? Or March. Now it should deliver four. Now let's run formula evaluator. Formula evaluator is um, here. But the keyboard shortcut that works in all versions is Alt T U F, tough, Alt tough. And watch this, we're going to run Formula Evaluator. There it is right there. I'm going to hit Enter. Notice it's starting to evaluate match. Match delivers an ordinal position, but watch this. As soon as we do that, we know normally it would deliver a value, but boom, in the context of a cell reference, it index is delivering that B4. So now it's going B2 to B4. And then finally it evaluates an add. So that is a way to avoid using offset in this bizarre use that index delivers a cell reference when it's in the context of being a cell reference. All right, we'll see you next trick.